Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV playing on the Xbox One console. This is Stranded in Oakfield, episode number 21. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button for me in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Like and share this video as well. Click that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. You don't want to miss anything. All right, folks. So if you remember, uh, if you remember from the last episode... We mowed all the grass uh, in this field here. Uh, we have now baled all of that grass, and now we are wrapping all of that grass. Fun, fun, fun. And it's only because silage bales are worth so much more than regular grass bales. It just makes sense to not let all of this grass go to waste. So we are wrapping it all, and then we're going to sell it. Then after we sell all the bales, we've got to plow this field and then prepare it for seeding. Uh, we're not going to be leaving it just with grass. Uh, I think we're done with grass for a while. Uh, as much as I love uh, wrapping silage bales, it is uh, unwittingly boring uh, to sit here and watch it wrap each individual bale. So I think instead of making you guys sit through this like I had to, uh, we're going to use the magic of video editing and just skip uh, right to the end, I think. So why don't we do that now? And bam! There. All the bales are wrapped. How do you like that? Well, all except for this last one right here. This uh, one we're going to wrap really quick. And then we'll go and grab the trailer and sell all of these bales. We've also managed to accumulate uh, 10 pallets of wool. Uh, wool is now going for just about $1,000 a pallet. So instead of just letting that uh, build up in our little shed, we are going to load up all of those wool pallets and drive them on up to the spinnery and sell our wool and collect our 10 grand. So we're going to move this uh, let's see here we're going to bring the bale wrapper back to the shed we'll park the bale wrapper where it needs to go and then we're going to attach the uh, the bale trailer and we'll auto load those silage bales and sell them up here at the bale sales selling point that we've added to the farm then I think uh, what we will do is we will tackle some reseeding we've got to reseed uh, this field and the other field and then we're going to uh, plow and then reseed that field where we just baled all of that grass all right now with all that out of the way I think uh, we're going to flip on the time-lapse switch for the rest of this episode uh, you got some time go make yourself a beverage and a nice big fat sandwich Sit down and relax, enjoy the time-lapse music, and we'll check back with you closer to the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in, folks.
All right. Well, that was fun. We are just pulling up to the uh, wool selling trigger right now. I think it's somewhere back here. I think we should just be able to drive the trailer over top of it. And the wool should automatically sell itself so we don't have to uh, spend all that time offloading. There it goes. Perfect. Let's see if we can get all 10 pallets of wool in there. Let's keep going. Come on, let's get it all. It's going to fit. Well, there's 9,000. And there's, all right, $10,600 for all of that wool. Not too bad. I think uh, next time we'll just let it accumulate till maybe 20. We should buy some more sheep maybe to increase the wool output. All right, for now, this is JCTV saying see you later.